Hey, I'm Steve. And I'm Julian. We're from All The Way Around Travel. And today we're going to show you the best food of Medellin. Vamos, let's go. So we're going to eat some traditional buñuelos and tinto, that means black coffee, for starting our day. It's a delicious way to a breakfast, a Colombian style. We're here in Buñuelería La Especial, tasting some delicious buñuelos. Buñuelos are little balls made from uh, cheese and cornmeal and then deep fried. So they are common in our traditional breakfast in Colombia and they are very, very common during Christmas in December. This is a traditional Colombian breakfast. But we start with a delicious hot chocolate. Hot yeah. chocolate every day. See, See. It's the thing. Buen provecho. And you can have it with milk if you want it. And here we have like almohabanas, pan de queso, y buñuelo. It's very traditional. So in Colombia, the favorite morning breakfast is arepa. And you've got lots of different kinds. So we've got arepa de paisa, arepa de mote, arepa de chocolo, arepa de amarillo, arepa de redonda. And this is con hogao, which is like a mix with tomato and onion and lots of different spices. And normally you have arepa with quesito, which is uh, this kind of soft, spreadable cheese that they have here in Colombia, and it's awesome. It's awesome, yeah. I love it. Yeah. For me, my favorite is like, uh, Arepa de maíz blanco with uh, quesito and chocolate. I love it. Colombia is very, very famous for its exotic fruits and the, the locals love their exotic fruit juices. So here we've got a bunch of juices to try out. Which do we have, Lilian? Yes, uh, we have uh, blackberry, uh, maracuya, and coconut. Lemonade. Lemonade. Lemonade de coco. Lemonade de coco. Uh, maracuya is kind of passion fruit. Is this is passion fruit? Yeah. yeah but it, actually, we have, here we have like three passion fruits. Ah, maracuya, okay. granadilla, and uh, pitaya. Okay. My favorite always is lemonade de coco. And for me, oh. passion fruit. Cheers. 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 Sancocho is a very traditional soup for Colombian cuisine. Mm. And you can find it uh, easily in any house or any restaurant. Basically, we call Sancocho uh, to every recipe that requires to put a lot of ingredients in a large pot with a lot of water. Yeah! In this case, we're going to eat uh, Sancocho de gallina, that is hen. Uh, it comes with some rice, avocado, banana, and our traditional arepa paisa. We cannot forget it. We do a family reunion. Uh, it's, it's common to, to recook Sancocho. So, we have a typical dessert, and it's called obleas. And you can add some dulce de leche y mermelada de mora, blackberry jam. And a lot of the traditional desserts are only available around Christmas time. So if you come around Christmas time, they'll all have things like natija, buñuelos, masamora, masamora. But we're going to try masamora later. See, sí. and it's corn. Yeah. Here we have uh, what's called masamora, which is kind of corn kernels with milk, and this is a sobre mesa in Colombia. And lots of people will have this either after dinner or after lunch as their kind of dessert. And you often have this with a bocadillo, which is a traditional. Uh, Colombian sweet, which is wrapped in plantain leaf. And what you do is you dip the bocadillo into the masamora, and just like that, <laughs> it's delicious. We are here in uh, Hacienda restaurant, and we have here like a refreshing drinking called Guandolo. It is made of sparkling water, agua panela, this from sugar cane, lemon, and ice. Mm. 
tasty. We're going to eat a very, very traditional dish uh, in Colombian cuisine. It's called um, fiambre or envuelto. The typical thing about it is that it is wrapped in uh, banana or plantain leaves. It comes from the time of our grandpas or the mule drivers and the farmers and they used to eat it because it has a lot of protein and they needed a lot of energy for the, for the long days of work. Okay, so this is the fiambre, and as you can see, it has the kind of three staples of the every Colombian dish has. It's got the rice, it's got the plantain, it's got the avocado, and actually four staples. Everything comes with an arepa. And this is like a, a very pretty, kind of fancy version of fiambre. But you can imagine the, the farmers in the fields after a hard day's work, unpacking the banana leaf and digging into this kind of real meaty version of a fiambre. Actually, in Spanish, fiambre means that the food that you eat the next day. Oh, okay. yeah. This is the Colombian version of a packed lunch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is the bandeja okay. paisa. So this is bandeja paisa, quite possibly the most traditional dish in Colombia. Very specifically from this region, Medellin and Antioquia, this is the favorite dish. Yes, yeah, so I think for me this is the king of the of the all dishes for our cuisine. So it has at least 10 ingredients, rice, beans, uh, grounded beef, egg, sausages, blood sausages, avocado, arepa, and chicharron. Chicharroni. It's, it's a <laughs> lot of food inside, so uh, it's like a, something to enjoy. I can't wait to taste it. It's time for the chicharroni, okay. amigo. It's the time that I was waiting for. Mm. <laughs> For me, the best part of the bandeja paisa is like mixing everything together, right? It, this is like the traditional English breakfast, only the Colombian version. After you've had a big night out, bandeja paisa, mix everything in with the beans, yes. boom. I mean, the flavor is unique. If you come to Medellin, you have to try it. You have to eat it. <laughs> ah. Now we're going to try our favorite traditional Colombian desserts. Here we have arroz con leche, and in this little jar of wonder we have arequipe, which is uh, some, it's kind of like soft caramel spread. And what you do is you pour the arequipe in, and voila. <laughs> We're here in Mondongo restaurant where we are going to try two of the most popular and two of the most famous soups in Colombia, the mondongo and the ayaco. So this is the, the very famous, infamous mondongo soup, which is basically the key ingredient is cow's stomach. So all of this is cow's stomach, mixed in with pork, mixed in with potato, and then you put lots of other things like banana, like rice, like avocado into it. And uh, it's a bit of an acquired taste, I'm not going to lie, but it's one of those things, if you come to Colombia, you've just got to try. This is the cow's stomach, the tripe. Do you guys want to taste some? Uh, here we have ajiaco. It's a very typical and traditional Colombian soup. It's original from the region of Bogota and it's made of chicken, uh, three types of potato, and corn. Everything goes into the soup. The soup is just the starting point. But in goes the rice, in goes the avocado, in goes the at some point in goes the banana. Everything goes inside to the soup and it just becomes this one big dish that you eat. Here we are really proud of avocado and we mix it with everything. With soups, with rice, with beans, with arepa. Everything with avocado tastes better. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Uh, we're gonna keep eating so we'll see you later. I hope to see you here in Medellin and tienen que probar esta delicia.